Okay, so today I'm going to take you through the process of adding new taxa into Neotoma. You can see here an Excel spreadsheet that uh, correspond, uh, corresponds to all the information that I've gathered that I need. Um, in this case, the two species that we want to add are Daisy procta mexicana and Daisy procta punctata. But I believe Daisy procta, the genus, is not in the database, so we also have to add the genus, nor uh, do I think that the family, Daisy proctidae, is in the database, so we need to add uh, the family as well. And so outside of the database, I have collected the original name author for these uh, different taxa, um, some internal tracking columns, and then the reference uh, for that describes the current taxonomy, which is Woods and Kilpatrick 2005. Uh, this is a chapter in Wilson and Reader 2005, and I know based on my other work that this publication has already been added into the database. So I just have a shorthand here for the publication information. But if it's a publication that has not been added into the database already, you'll need to compile the full publication information, author names, year, title, journal, et cetera. Okay. So the very first thing that I do is open Tilia. And um, then I would log in uh, to Miatoma um, with your steward password. Once you log in, you can see that I have access to a few different databases. In this case, um, working with taxonomy, um, it doesn't really matter which one that I log into, but I'm gonna log into paleovertebrates of Latin America, which are the, the database for which I'm adding these taxa. Um, it says here I'm a taxonomy expert. Um, not all stewards are gonna have that designation. Um, if you don't, that's fine. You can still add a taxon uh, to Neotoma as a steward. Okay. This Excel spreadsheet, the shorthand for adding taxa to the database, if you need to add a lot of different taxa at once, is to create a blank Excel file with just the taxon names. So on this, uh, um, Excel spreadsheet, you can see that I have a bunch of different taxa that I need to add to the database. Um, here's all the names and just various colors that correspond to my internal notes. Um, and so I have already copied and pasted all of these um, new names to a um, blank Tilia file. So um, in this case, taxa for upload. I'm gonna open up that file. So this doesn't have, this is not a typical Tilia file. It doesn't have information on the site, et cetera, et cetera, because it's, it's not a, a typical site file. It's just for looking at the taxa. Um, and so here, I, I ended up pasting all of those taxon names into this column. Now the very first thing that I do once I paste that is I go to this tab here, Neotoma variables, and I wanna validate the spreadsheet taxa. And so I'm communicating with the database um, and I'm going to uh, say validate. In this case, there's a few, um, Synonymies that I'm going to ignore for now. Um, I'm not going to deal with them. And then it tells me um, now that all of these taxa are not found. Um, and so um, you can go through um, and, uh, and sort of iteratively work through these taxa one by one. 
you'll notice over here, there's a few taxa that have already been found. And so um, when I did this previously, um, this uh, doing this process validating the spreadsheet taxa found um, these data, Caniculus, Paca, Caniculidae, Otaridae, um, and matched them to taxa that were already in the database. So you can tell which taxa have been matched versus which haven't um, based on uh, which rows have this code filled in. So if it has the code, that means that the taxon is found in Neotoma and everything else um, is not found in Neotoma. Okay, so I'm um, gonna close this. Uh, all these taxon names are not resolved. That's fine, okay. It's gonna tell me they're not resolved and so I'm gonna exit. So again, I really um, want to work just with the DASI Proctidase. Um, these particular taxa through this example. And so I'm gonna um, focus first on adding one species, Daziprocta mexicana. So um, again, go up to Neotoma, and um, as a steward, you can edit the taxa table. So Doing that, I'm gonna edit, uh, select the taxa group, which is mammals. There we go. And I'm going to uh, search Dazzy Procta Day, Dazzy Procta, zero C T four A. Um, and it's, it's probably not going to find it. Um, so, um, at this point, um, and one thing, one point of caution is that sometimes you can get into trouble, um, if you, uh, type, uh, things into Neotoma because we tend to make misspellings. And um, so sometimes it can be helpful to copy and paste um, your, your data directly rather than, um, rather than typing it anew. So I know Daziprocta is not in Neotoma already. Um, I don't believe Daziprocta Day is either, but I'm just gonna double check. Um, nope, no results are coming up. So, I know that Dazi Proctidae is a um, rodent. And so I'm gonna go down to Rodentia, expand that. And um, you can see that it lists all the different um, families. We haven't really stored any super families here or um, suborders. Um, and I'm just double checking to see that it's not here. Okay. So I'm going to go to back up to Rodentia. It doesn't really, there's two different ways of doing this. So I'm going to add my Dazi Proctidae as a child of Rodentia. Okay, there it is. Now, when you do that, you can see that there's a variety of information that you need to fill out. Um, you're, you've selected Dazi Proctidae, there's the name. Um, going back, we need to add the author. So for Dazi Proctidae, that's Bonaparte 1838. So I'm gonna copy um, and paste that. Um, it's not extinct, so we keep that unchecked. I'm gonna first go to ecological group. Um, this is a rodent. So um, you scroll down and find Rodentia, add that. And now we need to add the publication. So going back, I can see that um, 
well, Dazzy Proctidae doesn't have, or the publication for Dazzy Proctidae is Wood, the current taxonomy is described by Woods and Kilpatrick. So um, we don't know right, a, right off the bat what publication ID it is. So I'm gonna click there and I'm gonna search for Woods. Um, and you can see there it is, Woods and Kilpatrick. Let me expand this. Um, Woods and Kilpatrick, 2005. Um, this is the chapter in Wilson and Reader. And so this is the one I want to use, um, publication 1531. If you needed to add a new publication, this is where you would do it. You would click that button there to add the publication to the database. But in this case, we're going to use Woods and Kilpatrick, 2005. Now we need to generate a code for this. This is a unique code. Um, you can auto generate it um, and test it. Um, often with uh, the codes for the uh, families, it is helpful um, to add the DAE um, to this. Uh, and so let's test that. Um, and so, you know, we might want to even, well, let's just keep day. Um, so test it out and we can say, okay. So um, now I have everything filled in. The ID is still blank here because um, it will be automatically assigned once we upload this new item to the database. So we have our author, we have a code, the original name, um, the, the publication that describes the current taxonomy, um, and the ecological group. Now for me, because I was a taxonomy expert, um, that was checked for me. Um, it also lists a validator and valid date. If you're not a taxonomy expert, those two um, fields will be blank, and that's a way that we can go back and um, track new taxa that need to be validated. So once this is all done, then we're gonna upload this new taxon. So here we're uploading the new taxon, success, great. Okay, well, we've added Dazzy Proctidae. Now we wanna add um, the genus, Dazzy Procta. Whoops, uh, let me go here. And, um, so I'm gonna copy and um, I'm gonna paste that in new taxon name. And we're, again, we're at adding it as a child of Dazzy Proctidae. One thing to note, this was um, blue when we first added it and it remained blue um, until we uploaded this taxon um, to Neotoma. Now that it's been uploaded, it's now red. Um, and so that's just a quick little visual saying that yes, you have actually changed something about the database here. But so um, we're adding Dazzy Procta as a child of Dazzy Procta Day. Okay, insert. Now um, let's go back and find, um, this is for the, um, the genus. And so let's copy this author. Now, we, this publication ID is um, uh, the same. Uh, we can double check that. Um, again, Woods and Kilpatrick, 2005. And so rather than um, finding, uh, interacting with the publications through the database, we can um, uh, ditto this. If I can do this on my Mac. Um, Ah, I might not be able to do this on my Mac. Um, so you on PCs, you should be able to sort of copy and paste um, that uh, taxon uh, ID, uh, but we'll do it the long way. So Woods and Kilpatrick, we're gonna use this taxon. Let's try this dittoing. Oh, you know what, maybe I'm getting ID. 
various combinations of of things, but can't do that. So we're going to, I'm not able to copy and paste since I have a Mac um, and this is parallels. It's, it operates a little bit differently than if you have a, um, a PC. So um, Dazi Procta, again, let's, um, let's um, auto generate the code. It's helpful in this case, um, you know, the name is very similar. So um, you can, um, it's helpful to just use the auto generated, um, which corresponds to the first three letters of the family. Um, let's test to make sure it's unique and okay. So there we have all the information filled in. We're gonna upload that to Neotoma. Success. Okay. And now, um, now that we've added the family and the genus, we can uh, go in and add uh, the species, Dazi Procta Mexicana. Okay, so I'm copying that. I'm adding Dazi Procta Mexicana. And again, it's a child of Dazi Procta. Let's go back to our Excel spreadsheet. Um, this is the name, the author for this. Um, Rodentia. This is that same Woods and Kilpatrick. Okay, and we need to generate the code auto. Um, so in this case, the auto generated code is DAP.ME. Um, I would change this to DAY.ME so that the genus part corresponds with the code for uh, the genus Dazeproctia. So let's test that. Okay, that's unique. Great. Um, now let's add that. Okay, um, now let's do the other species, um, Dazi Procta Punctata. Copy that over here. In this case, um, I'm going to add this now as a sibling to Dazi Procta Mexicana. You can see that I've highlighted Dazi Procta Mexicana. It's also listed here. And so I'm adding this as a sibling. Um, let's go to the family. This is Gray 1840, or the author, Gray 1842. Um, add the publication. You can add it. We know the publication ID. It's 1531. Um, two ways of getting the same information, Woods and Kilpatrick. And again, this is um, Rodentia. Okay, and then we need to generate the code. So auto, and again, let's change this to day. .pu, test that. Okay, it's unique. Great. Um, and let's upload that new taxon. Okay. So um, those are the uh, four new taxa that we've added to Neotoma. Um, and so we can close that, we're done for the day. And now let's double check and see, it shouldn't have um, filled in this, but now let's go back and show, if we go to variables and validate spreadsheet taxa, um, you know, we're going to replace the variable codes um, here. And you can see that, um, well, let's, um, let's cancel, let's ignore these for now um, and close this. Um, okay. Um, but you can see that now um, it has found 
these three, these taxa in there um, and, and put the codes in. It didn't find Dasipracta spa. Um, the spa there is throwing it off. If we, um, if we were to change that um, and revalidate, we should find that name. There you go. It, um, let's see. It's just abort. Okay. So it matched Dazzy Procta as well. So now I'm going to save that um, and close out. So that is a quick and dirty tutorial on how to add taxa to the uh, database.